Civil Rights travelled up strongly into fifth. Capanda taken wide. Black Aria snuck underneath of Civil Rights there and then came Night Prowler in the centre. Studio 54 and Special Delivery last. In the straight, Paris of Troy has it done too much work. It's hit the front. Big Clipper gave in a little bit there. And Penella Miss is quickly coming after the leader. Then Sasso Circus. Black Aria coming through in the middle. And down the outside is Civil Rights and Special Delivery is starting to weave a passage. And Capanda is right down the outside. Look at Special Delivery. It's Pike again. He Race to the front from Paris of Troy. Black Aria, Capanda's out wide, flashing home, but special delivery. Wins it. Bob, a very nice return first up. Yes, it's nice to see them come back. He was uh, quite a nice three-year-old for us, but we probably uh, pushed him out in distance too much, and uh, we'll watch that this time. Were you confident coming into today? Because it looked as though William is. I'm not sure if that's because he had three winners coming in, but he just sat there very patiently, and it seemed as though he was pretty confident he'd be able to take the line strongly over the rest of them. Yeah, I thought he had a good position early, but he was a bit wide, and he's, he was patient, and that's what this horse needs. He needs to be taught a bit. He's a bit dumb. I saw in the, in the pre-work, uh, Timmy was making sure he couldn't get away with much when walking around. What is the ideal distance, then, you, you believe, for this horse? Oh, I think about 1,600 metres, something like that. Okay, so we'll be watching that moving forward. And any other big races that you've got marked out at all at the moment for special delivery, or just, as you said, teach through this campaign and keep educating? Oh, no, he's got to go through the ratings and see what happens. Well done, Bob. We'll grab Adam as well, and Adam, a pretty nice uh, addition third. there to the stable. Yeah, look, uh, you know, you know, Grant's done all the all the early work on this horse, and I'm lucky enough to pick him up. Um, you know, an educated horse, ready to go, and I think Bob hit the nail on the head. He's a Testarossa, and out of a Thunder Gulch mare, and you know, he's probably just stretched out a little bit too far in distance. But you know, you don't win derbies by not trying them, and and that time of year, that's where all those three-year-olds go. So. You know, as I say, I'm lucky enough to have these horses um, come into my camp and, uh, you know, they make they make me look good, they make Willie look good and uh, simple as that. It's pretty promising when someone like Bob as well says there's still a bit of improvement to come and a bit more education to go as well. Uh, that's got to be a bit of a scary sign with what we just saw then. Yeah, he's a bit of a um, bit of a, a simple sort of fella. He's um, typical Testarossa and, you know, we, we sort of said to Willie, you know, make sure there's another day if, if today's not our day, he's not screwed down yet and... You know, he was able to uh, conserve ground and, uh, and a bit of fitness and he sort of hit the line really well, which you like to see first up. Very nice performance. Well done, Adam. And we'll just grab Pike as well because that is number four. When we asked you just after, mate, you said there was a few more to come and you weren't lying. Well, I don't know if there's a few more, but there's always room for more. It's been a very good day for you. Just tell us about that horse. It seemed to be a very nice return. Oh, yeah, definitely a very nice return. We've always rated him. Um, for me, I thought he was a little bit underperformed, uh, so it was nice to get this win on the board. Not, yeah, not under point. Like he was going for hard races, but I still at the back of my eye, I was always on the, I was always on the favourite. I was at the back of my eye, I was always waiting for him to come past me. I really rated him, and um, it was good to see him do this today. I think he needed to do it. Um, yeah. Were you confident first up? Because I was saying watching you out there, is there might have been the three victories leading into this race that made you just look so confident. Or was you confident the horse was going to be strong enough? Um, no, not really. I always, I was very, as I said, I was very weary of him. I wasn't sure. I knew that he had it if he wanted to do it. Um, I lost my position early. I, th I thought I bungled it a bit early, got too far back. Uh, the horse had a real good turn of foot and got me out of trouble. Are you going to give anyone else a chance today? Not if I can help it. Well done, mate.